Hey Church, hope you're well. I'm recording this on um, morning of 4th of July. You may be watching it later. So depending on when you're watching, hope you had a wonderful 4th or or will have a wonderful 4th the rest of today. Uh, it's good, I think, that we, we celebrate um, and not take for granted the freedoms that we enjoy in this nation. Like many of you, I've traveled in other parts of the world and seen places where we don't enjoy those freedoms. And so we want to we want to celebrate those and, and uh, give thanks um, and pray for our nation today that we would we would be good stewards of the things that God has put into our hands, um, not just for our own sake, but for the sake of others in our world. Um, Sunday, we're going to be back in Leviticus, and I, I hope you are um, getting to the place where you're eager to see what God has in store for us in this amazing book. Um, I pray and pray with me that that God would um, use the messages that I'll bring to communicate the good news. As I study through the passages, I'm just overwhelmed with amazement of how they point to the beauty of Christ and to the supremacy of Christ. Um, just been really overwhelming. So I, I pray and hope that's been communicated. Um, I, I've said a couple times, I'll keep saying that um, Leviticus is dealing with the great problem of our human sin, which has separated us from not just God's presence, but his blessing and life. But it also um, puts forward God, the, our great hope, which is that God desires to, to not just forgive us, but to be with us and to solve this great problem, if you will. That's the mission of God is to restore shalom, um, in his creation, peace between us and him, between us one to another, even between us and creation. And Leviticus has kind of three images that, that um, God uses to do that. We've talked about two, which is the, the tabernacle, the place um, where God comes to meet us in this world, which, which points forward to, um, you know, God one day through Christ, the, 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 the tabernacle of God and, and human coming, take on human flesh, points forward to one day all of creation being God's temple. Um, we talked about the sacrifices um, as pointing forward to Christ, the great sacrifice, um, the, the Lamb of God who comes to, to atone for all of our sin, for all time, for all people. This Sunday, we'll talk about the third image in Leviticus, which is the priest. And uh, as I hope you anticipate, what we'll learn um, in the, Im the fallible images and the incomplete image of priest in Leviticus points us to the great high priest who is Christ. Um, and there's just some beautiful things that I, I hope will come across here as we look at this. Um, I want to encourage you today we are, uh, or Thursday this week, we're starting reading through Hebrews. And if you haven't been reading with us along with us through the chapter day. This would be a, a great time to jump in, particularly now because Hebrews is uh, maybe the book in the, Bible, in the New Testament that most closely connects to Leviticus. And as we understand Leviticus, Hebrews, which is one of the more challenging books in the New Testament, um, takes on a whole new level of meaning. Um, I think as you, read, as you read through it with us, you'll begin to see that. I linked in the... In the um, email the that short video that gives an overview which should be really helpful for you to watch let me just share with you a reading one verse from thursday's reading chapter one verse three it says he christ is the reflection of god's glory and the exact imprint of god's very being and he sustains all things by his powerful word what a what a beautiful picture of christ that in christ we see the most the clearest picture of God will ever see. You want to know what God looks like? Look at Jesus. He is the image of the invisible God. And uh, through him, all things were created. And through him, all things are sustained. Um, everything points to Christ. And Leviticus is teaching us that. The name Christ is never mentioned in Leviticus, but it's really all about him. And, and when we come at it with that perspective, all sorts of things begin to open up and the, the beauty of the gospel comes out. And so looking forward to being with you Sunday. Not only will we um, look at this message, we're going to look and I've in the email I'll put out, you might want to read through chapters 8 and 10 Leviticus to prepare yourself um, to understand what I'm going to preach on. 
It's also the first Sunday, which means we will celebrate the Lord's Supper. I gave a full sermon last week as an invitation to sharing in this meal with Christ. And so hope you come anticipating meeting Christ at the table. It's also uh, first Sunday, we'll do a celebration between services. I, I understand there's going to be some food associated with celebrating the 4th of July. And, and so hope you'll come, either come early um, or stay late between services and be with us as we celebrate. It'd be a good day to be together. Pray that you're well wherever you are. I also pray that you would sense the love and the love of God, your Father, and the grace of Christ, your Son, and the fellowship, the peace of the Holy Spirit. Peace.